In the beautiful state of Utah, nestled within the rugged landscape, ancient miners were quarrying quartz from the ground for thousands of years. The Quartz Quarry, a sprawling archaeological site, offers a window into the lives of the Fremont people, a Native American culture that flourished in this region from approximately 400 to 1300 CE. Let's find out why this is an important discovery right here today on Documentify TV. The quarry was discovered in the mid-20th century during archaeological surveys of the area. Its significance became apparent as researchers uncovered extensive evidence of prehistoric mining activities. The site's discovery coincided with increased interest in the Fremont culture, which had long been overshadowed by the more widely known Ancestral Puebloan, formerly called Anasazi civilization. Upon initial examination, archaeologists were struck by the sheer scale of the quarry. Scattered across the rocky terrain were countless stone flakes, partially worked pieces of quartz and primitive tools used in the extraction process. These findings pointed to a long history of use, spanning several centuries. The quarry itself is a remarkable feat of ancient engineering. The Fremont people identified a rich vein of high-quality quartz and developed sophisticated techniques to extract it. The site shows evidence of both surface collection and more intensive quarrying methods. Archaeologists have identified numerous extraction pits, some several meters deep, where the Fremont miners dug into the earth to reach the most desirable quartz deposits. Around these pits, researchers found an abundance of hammer stones and antler picks, tools that were likely used in the mining process. The quality of the quartz at this site was exceptional, making it ideal for stone tool production. The Fremont people primarily used this material to craft projectile points, knives and scrapers, essential tools for hunting and daily life. While the basic purpose of the quarry near St. George is clear, to extract high-quality stone for tool-making, researchers have developed several theories about its broader significance within Fremont society. One theory suggests that the quarry was not just a local resource, but a regional trade center. The high-quality quartz may have been a valuable commodity, traded with neighboring groups for other goods. This theory is supported by the discovery of Fremont-style quartz tools in areas far from the quarry site. Another hypothesis proposes that the quarry held spiritual or ceremonial significance. Some researchers point to the labor-intensive nature of the mining process and suggest that it may have been tied to important cultural rituals or rites of passage. To understand the quarry's importance, it's crucial to consider the people who created it. The Fremont culture, named after the Fremont River in Utah, where many of their sites were first discovered, was a diverse group of Native American peoples who shared certain cultural traits. The Fremont were skilled farmers, growing corn, beans, and squash in the fertile river valleys. They were also proficient hunters and gatherers, adapting their strategies to the varied landscapes of the Great Basin and Colorado Plateau. What sets the Fremont apart from their neighbors is their distinctive material culture. They created unique pottery styles, intricate rock art, and a particular type of basketry. The tools and artifacts crafted from the quartz extracted from this quarry were an integral part of this cultural identity. The quartz quarry continues to be a subject of intensive study. Ongoing excavations and analysis are providing new insights into Fremont technology, trade networks, and social organization. One of the most intriguing aspects of the site is its potential to shed light on the eventual decline of the Fremont culture. Around 1300 CE, for reasons still debated by archaeologists, the distinct Fremont way of life seems to have disappeared. Some theories point to climate change while others suggest pressure from neighboring groups like the Numic-speaking peoples who later inhabited the region. The quarry's use over time, as revealed through careful stratigraphic analysis, may provide clues about changes in Fremont society leading up to this mysterious decline. Today, the quartz quarry stands as a protected site within Fremont Indian State Park. It serves not only as a valuable resource for archaeological research, but also as a tangible link to Utah's rich Native American heritage. Visitors to the park can view the quarry site 
and learn about the skilled craftspeople who, over a thousand years ago, shaped both stone and history in this rugged landscape. The discovery of the ancient quartz quarry in Utah has significantly altered our understanding of the Fremont people and prehistoric Native American cultures in the region. This find has revealed sophisticated stone working techniques and mining practices, challenging previous assumptions about their technological capabilities. It has provided insights into their economic organization, suggesting the existence of specialized labor and possible trade networks. The quarry's extensive use highlights the cultural significance of stone tools and offers new perspectives on daily life and hunting practices. If trade theories are correct, it also indicates broader regional interactions among prehistoric groups. The site's long-term use contributes to discussions about the stability and longevity of Fremont occupation, while also offering clues about their environmental adaptation. Additionally, the quarry has led to the development of new archaeological research methodologies and serves as a valuable educational resource, enhancing our appreciation of Native American heritage in Utah. As research continues, this ancient quarry remains a source of fascination, offering new discoveries and insights into a people who left their mark on the Utah land. What do you think about this archaeological find in Utah? Have you been to this site? Let us know in the comments. We would love to hear from you. Until next time, folks, see you in our next video right here on Documentify TV.